Hello everyone, this is Johan, and I will talk about my career of being a civil engineer. Several years ago, while watching the American TV series The Good Doctor, I became fascinated by surgeons. After researching the profession, I discovered that surgeons are among the highest paid occupations, with a medium wage of $210,000 per year. However, surgeons typically need to complete 80 years of education, including a bachelor's degree and a medical degree, which is highly competitive due to the Medical College Admission Test MCAT. Additionally, it depends on their specialties. They need to complete three to nine years of residency programs. Just imagine how hard it is. So, I put my attention to civil engineering. Overall, it focuses on the design, construction, and maintenance of buildings. Civil engineers work on various projects, including roads, bridges, buildings, airports, water supply systems, and sewage treatment plants. They use physics, mathematics, environmental geology, and material science to build safe, efficient, and environmental-friendly structures. The work of civil engineers can vary depending on their specialization. Some may focus on designing structures or systems. Some may oversee construction projects to improve materials and techniques. Others spend time in the fields inspecting structures and ensuring that they meet regulatory standards, which is my concern because construction sites often have high levels of dust that can lead to potential health issues. The future outlook for civil engineering is generally positive, with the Bureau of Labor Statistics projecting a 7% growth rate in employment from 2021 to 2031. In terms of compensation, civil engineers typically earn a medium annual salary of $88,000 US dollars, according to BIS. As mentioned before, civil engineers should be proficient in mathematics, physics, chemistry, and computer-aided science CAD software. Having completed all the extremely tough high school courses in Shanghai, China, I have a strong foundation of these skills, being confident to perform them in my career. Secondly, civil engineers must possess the ability to analyze data, identify problems, and develop solutions. My love for building LEGO and solving puzzles from an early age showcases my ability to solve complex solutions with patience and persistence. Thirdly, some engineers must be able to communicate technical information effectively with professionals such as architects and government officials, both vertically and in writing. A good understanding of financial and legal aspects of projects is essential for managing budgets and keeping up to date with the latest technological advancements. It's important to be a pioneer in the field. While I do not possess all of the skills at present, I am committed to developing them and building a successful career as a civil engineer. Thank goodness. Becoming a civil engineer is much easier than becoming a surgeon. To pursue a career in civil engineering, I will only need to earn a bachelor's degree in the field, which typically includes co-op work experience opportunities to gain practical skills. However, a PhD can provide additional opportunities for career advancement, and obtaining a professional engineer license can enhance my professional reputation. Nonetheless, I do need to study in a reputable institution. The University of Waterloo is my top choice. It ranks second overall in Canada according to the QS ranking, and it offers the largest co-op program in North America. Graduates from the civil engineering program have a 96% employment rate within six months of graduation. However, meeting their requirements can be challenging. For example, I must achieve an overall IELTS score of at least 6.5, with the same score requirements in writing and speaking. Though I have met the requirements for other universities, I will need to retake the test to meet Waterloo standards. Additionally, with an average grade of 90% to 94%, the chances of being accepted are only 60%. The tuition fees of $60,000 per year are also the highest among all institutions in Canada. Moreover, it is hard to graduate because the lowest 10% of students will be removed from the first year program. But yeah, I am determined to work hard and be part of and graduate from this well-known institution. After graduation, I plan to work for AECOM if possible. As a multicultural infrastructure consulting firm, it boasts a workforce of 50,000 employees and have offices in 150 countries. Interestingly, AECOM ranks 200 in the Forbes 500 Fortune companies. AECOM offers various benefits such as dental care, disability insurance, extended health care, life insurance, and paid time off. To be a member in AECOM, I need at least 5 years of experience and the ability to work continuously and attentively. In addition to the technical and communication skills that I have previously mentioned, I'm required to go through a staged approach that includes an initial interview, online assessments, video interview, and an assessment interview. Being a civil engineer in AECOM Canada is boring, as most projects are about rearranging parks and streets. So, 
I'm excited to pursue in America to have more opportunities to build bridges, apartments, hospitals, and other projects. However, we need to face the challenge of climate change as global temperatures continue to rise. Engineers should develop innovative building materials and technical structures that are resilient to extreme weather events such as floods, hurricanes, and wildfires. In addition, civil engineers should reduce the industry's carbon footprints by promoting sustainable practices such as using solar panels, wind turbines, and lower carbon footprint materials in design and construction. Coastal infrastructure and urban infrastructure, such as ports, seawalls, and stormwater management systems, must be designed to withstand challenging effects of flooding and increased precipitation. There is no doubt that in the future, civil engineers are still crucial and have lots of things to handle, being impossible to lose their jobs. After interviewing a civil engineer in Ecom, I'm sure that I have chosen a right path. Also, sometimes I have to meet several tight deadlines and attend different meetings. I would feel such great sense of accomplishment after finishing a project, which is quite rewarding. In summary, I find that being a civil engineer provides a stable career path, which is something I appreciate. However, the salary is quite low and only slightly above the national average, by around 30%. In Canada, the cost of living is high, with a typical house costing around $2 million. This means that with an annual salary of $60,000 after taxes, it would take me around 30 years to afford a house without any other expenses. This is concerning and disappointing, and I'm unsure of what actions to take to address this issue. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy my video, and I will see you soon. Take care.